There are several clip types used in X2. The basic two are audio and MIDI. Audio clips display a waveform, while MIDI clips display MIDI data visible as dots and dashes. The basics are the same for both, but there are differences. Clips have two hotspots or zones where the click behavior is different. Where these hotspots are depends on whether the clip is in its expanded or minimized state. When expanded, at the top is the clip header, where the clip name is displayed. Left clicking here will select the whole clip but not move the now time. Beneath the header, we find the clip body. Left clicking in this part will also select the whole clip but moves the now time to the click point. Note that using either method, the clip will highlight to indicate it is selected. When a clip is minimized, the hotspot split is halfway up. The top half then responds to clicks in the same way as the header and the bottom half the same way as the body. Partial clip selection is done by left click and dragging in the body section of the clip. The selected range will be shaded to indicate this. Multiple clip selection can be done by either control and left clicking on the required clips or by right clicking and lasso selecting clips. Note that any clip that is partially touched by the lasso will be fully selected. It is also possible to select time areas over multiple clips by left clicking and dragging across the required time and clips. In addition to the select hotspots, there are also editing hotspots. They can be slip edited by left click and dragging at either end of the clip when the blue slip edit indicator appears and the cursor changes to the slip edit cursor. Hold down the control key and the indicator turns yellow, indicating that the clip can be stretched or shrunk, adjusting the clip tempo to make the adjustment. The amount the clip is stretched or shrunk is indicated in the top right hand corner. Move the cursor towards either of the top corners of an audio clip and the indicator turns red. The cursor changes to the fade cursor. This indicates the clip can be slip faded. Simply click and drag either to create a fade in or out. Note that only audio clips can be faded and the fades can be adjusted or removed in a similar way by clicking on the fade start or end. Double clicking on an audio clip by default will open it in the loop construction view where it can be edited for looping. Default behavior for audio clips is set from the options menu in the track view. MIDI clip defaults can be set here as well. A MIDI clip also has its own default editor selector found in the top right hand corner of the clip. Click on this to change and open the editor on a per clip basis. Double clicking on the clip will open it in the currently assigned editor. In addition to the basic clips, a clip can also be turned into a groove clip. To change the clip to and from a groove clip, select it and press Ctrl L. MIDI and audio clips can both be converted. A groove clip is visually indicated by rounded corners. Once a clip has been converted to a groove clip, it can be rolled out but can no longer be faded, tempo stretched, or shrunk using the Ctrl key. It will need to be changed back in order to perform those edits.